I've been asked to give a detailed exposition of the functionality of the 496 acoustic synthesizer. First of all, before we turn the 496 on, you can see the touchpad area, and you can see a cluster of square pads here and some elongated pads here. The elongated pads are sliders, and I'll show you how they work uh, in a few moments. Uh, and these are uh, presets and other push-button type uh, uh, functions over here. Now to turn the Vo96 on, you pretty much just need to start playing the guitar. You know, once you place your fingers anywhere down here on the front lip of the um, Vo96, uh, it just turns on. So let me just turn it off. You turn it off by tapping this button right here five times. One, two, three, four. That turns it off. And so that you can see how it comes on. I'm just touching down here, and you can see the lights come on. And that's how that works. Um, now, I've got it set here to probably the most basic kind of setting that we can use. Um, along here, these three buttons here are three sets of two presets. The first set of two presets here is uh, made up of all of the harmonics. The second set of two presets here is made up of all the even harmonics and deliberately excluding the odd harmonics from the timbre of the string. And the third set is made up of all the odd harmonics deliberately excluding the even harmonics from the string. So let's start out with uh, all harmonics. And as I say, each touchpad actually has two presets. The first preset is when the preset uh, LED is glowing steadily. If you touch it one more time, now the preset LED is uh, undulating, and that means you're in the second preset. So you can toggle back and forth between those two presets. So you have two presets for each of those harmonic uh, groupings, very basic grouping, all harmonics, only even harmonics, and only odd harmonics, very basic categories of uh, Now moving on to the sliders, so this is the power slider here, the one on the end. As I move my finger along, you see that the relative brightness of the LEDs is changing. And that sort of tells you where you've positioned the slider. It's really easy to get used to. And there's a tiny cut you can feel with your finger uh, between those two LEDs, and that makes it very easy to just sort of find where you are in the slider and operate it tactile. You don't really have to stare at it. Um, in order to know about where you are. <clears throat> now one thing about what happens when you turn on the VO96, all of the uh, adjustments are going to be exactly where you last left them. Where I've left it in this mode here is that everything is uh, turned down. First thing is we need to raise the power and now a shorter note than we had before. This fader, the third one over here, controls the duration of the note. So right now we're on the shortest possible setting. It's uh, definitely noticeable compared to no power at all, which sounds like... And uh, now when we adjust the duration, go all the way to the other extreme, and now we have full sustain. And on uh, this control, you can set an intermediate duration, which I personally really favor, um, because we don't really need notes that last forever, but when you, when you can have a, a natural decay, and that decay can be very long. But it's still a very nice natural decay. Now this center slider here is, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Moog guitar, this is a little bit like harmonic balance. Um, 
what this is doing is it's changing the group of harmonics that we're controlling. So right now I have it set to the minimum position, which means the darkest group of harmonics. So things almost sound like a pure. sustain up full because of course it's easier with a sustained sound to hear what's going on so let's do that again strings if you're not uh, uh, careful so often I just take it a little bit down off of full power there is a little bit more power headroom than you really need so that is um, all of the harmonics a very nice even sound probably a more guitar like sound set the harmonics a little bit higher. Now you have more harmonic weight in the, in the mid-range of the string than you would normally get with an acoustic guitar. And really sort of enter a territory of something new. basic precept tonalities, timbres that are available in the VO96 acoustic synthesizer. Uh, and I just want to demonstrate the difference between the three of them. So I'm going to begin that by just playing one note, just some note. I'll show you the difference between the three palettes as it affects the one note. signal processing that is actually changing the way that the string vibrates. I've put on a uh, chord capo here so that I can play a chord without having to have my left hand go completely to sleep. Here's a chord. modulator 
for each of those. This is the arpeggio modulator, and I'm going to turn it off and on. Now I have different modulators defined for the three different presets, showing you that you can do that. Sort of a little melody. Um, we can change that, but I'll get to that later. If I move the note, Once you have a VO96 acoustic synthesizer, I will be putting out revisions to the firmware that are going to unlock more and more of the secrets of acoustic synthesis for your ears to enjoy. Here I'm going to play a chord. Now the same arpeggio we just heard is now running on all the strings, but because I stroke the strings slowly, let me do that again. Those arpeggios are syncopated because the arpeggio begins when you pluck them. 